I have until October 14th, 2025 to switch to Linux. Let's talk about that. Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam. Um, I've been sick, sorry about that. Um, we're back. Anyway, you may have noticed on my videos and my live streams that my main computer is still running Windows 10. Why is that? Well, uh, I did get a new laptop a few months ago. Uh, it's a Lenovo LOQ and it's shipped with Windows 11. After using it for this limited amount of time, I can confirm I absolutely hate Windows 11. From the online only activation, to the bloatware and garbage that's installed by default, and no, I'm not talking about anything Lenovo installed, by the way. Comparatively, Lenovo had almost nothing pre-installed compared to what was already installed with Windows. From ads and suggestions in your start menu that take ages to remove, Edge is the default browser, luckily I grabbed a Brave installer from my other PC, this one. Bing search in your start menu that you can't even remove unless you edit the registry. Settings are all over the place from the settings menu to the control panel. Granted that's also an issue in Windows 10, but whatever. And huge privacy concerns with Microsoft Recall. I, I can't stand it. I, I hate it. Now it looks clean, but what does that matter? Uh, I actually can't switch to Windows 11 on this PC either. Uh, the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X and 2070 Super apparently is not strong enough for Windows 11. Go figure. Um, before I got that Lenovo laptop, I wanted to resurrect an old Toshiba satellite laptop that I got back in 2013 or so. Um, that laptop shipped with Windows 8.1 and is currently running my NAS. Before that, though, I put Linux Mint on it. You've actually seen it before on the channel. Now, I could be wrong, but it was my original understanding that Linux Mint is designed to be easier to use compared to other versions of Linux. I also have a Steam Deck, which runs Arc Linux. If you don't know, Linux is free, and following basic internet tutorials, anyone can really install a GUI-based Linux distro. Using Linux for basic things like copying and pasting files, browsing the internet, typing documents, etc. is just like using any other computer. Unfortunately, the problem for me comes from doing more in-depth things. Does anyone here remember about 5-10 to ten years ago what it used to be like using a B-tier manufacturer's Android phone? Some apps worked, some didn't. Flavor of Android is close enough that most things work, but the subtle differences sometimes break things and cause issues. I feel like a lot of my problems with Linux are similar to that. The very first genuine Linux install outside of a virtual machine was a dual boot of Backtrack 5 alongside Windows 7. After that install, Backtrack would only run in text mode. It wouldn't launch the GUI because of a graphics driver incompatibility. Luckily, thanks to a very old forum post even at that time, I fixed the problem. I've used Windows since Windows 98 when I was around 4 or 5 years old. I know how to do almost anything I need to do on a daily basis. I know how to fix most problems I may come across. I know at least where to look if I have trouble. Linux is unknown territory for me, and for most. Whether you love or hate Linus Tech Tips, they did a really good series a few years ago where they used Linux as their daily OS for a few days. If you haven't seen it, I really recommend that series. If you don't have time to watch the whole thing, just the last video sums up basically every issue I have with Linux. With Steam frontlining the Linux gaming scene, gaming on Linux is now actually way better than when Linus and Luke did that series. However, the professional software scene is still a very different story. To be fair, none of the professional software I use do I actually need for work. My day job doesn't currently have anything to do with the software in question. However, my hobbies definitely do. I've been using Photoshop for 12 years now, although I'm going to be trying Affinity Pro immediately after recording this. Fuck you, Adobe. You're scum, and Creative Cloud is basically a virus. Anyway. I've been using Vegas Pro to edit my YouTube videos for 11 years, and I've used Finale to write music for 10 years. I use a Libre CAD all the time for 3D printing. Those are the reasons that I will have a hard time switching to Linux. I know how to use those softwares, I have documents for them dating back years, and I've become fluent in using them all. But I keep seeing these ads for Linux, I mean, uh, news about Microsoft, and it's really convincing me. 
So really, this is an open letter to all the companies responsible for all the software I've mentioned today. Alibre, Make Music, Magix, Serif. For some of you, I've been using a software for over a decade. For others, only about a year. But all of you have been loyal and happy while using a software. And I'm not the only one. Please consider the massive amount of people like me who are feeling the same way right now. Adding Linux support to your software can be expensive and time consuming. We understand. But the age of Linux is here. People are getting fed up with Windows, and Mac for that matter, all the time now. I'm not asking you to go back and add Linux support to the many previous versions of your software. I am asking you to consider adding Linux support to a Libre Design version 28, Finale version 28, Vegas Pro 22, and Affinity version 3. Adding that Linux support will guarantee that I will stay with you for years to come. For the rest of you, I would urge you to consider switching to Linux. Your privacy is important, your money is important, your data is important. Consider making the switch. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. That's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for spending your day with me. Remember, on my channel, every day is a weekend. Don't forget to check out weekdayweekend.net for more weekend vibes. Check out the Discord. Check out my Twitch. Uh, check out all my other stuff. If you're going to Murph, M-R-R-F, uh, next weekend, I will see you there. Probably Saturday. Uh, for everybody else, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you next time. Bye.